This is one of my favorite chapters to talk about the refraction of light by a lens. We will learn in this chapter how the eye works and uh, it is a miraculous thing how it works. The index of refraction is the first thing we'll cover in the chapter. We will define the index of refraction and let's just get right to it. The the most important piece of information here is that light travels more slowly through materials such as glass, water, etc., than it does through vacuum. So if C is the speed of light in vacuum measured in meters per second, in fact, you know what that number is. It's 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And if V is the speed of light in the material, say water or glass, it's not going to be 3 times 10 to the 8, it's going to be less, say 2 times 10 to the 8, whatever. Then the index of refraction is defined as the ratio of those two numbers, the speed in vacuum divided by the speed in the material. So this might be 3 times 10 to the 8, this might be 2 times 10 to the 8, which would give uh, an index of refraction of 1.5, which turns out is about what we get is for an index of refraction in glass. Let's take a look. Uh, crown glass has an index of refraction of 1.5 uh, plus a couple of decimal points. Diamond has a very high index of refraction, and we'll uh, talk about later how we can take advantage of that to make the beautiful sparkling diamonds why this is important. Other materials, uh, water, index of refraction about 1.3, one and a third, four thirds or so. And then uh, the other one that's really important uh, is air. Take a look at that number. This is an index of refraction of 1.000293. That's a number that's very close to one. And so for all practical purposes, you can treat water, I'm sorry, air, as if it were a vacuum, as far as the propagation of um, the, the speed of light is through air. And endis, index of refraction, notice here that we're dividing one speed, C, by another speed, V, both of them measured in meters per second, and so you end up with an index of refraction that has no units at all. It's just a unitless number.